Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to another exciting edition of Thai Time with Ryan. And say it with me, I'm Ryan. As always, Thai Time is coming straight at you with 90% nonsense and 10% Thai. In today's episode, we're featuring the DeVeo twist. Come on, let's twist again, like we did last summer. And you know, speaking of summer, I actually went to the zoo recently because uh, it was nice out and it's cut again to be summer. You know, I've lived in D.C. for six years now, and this is the first time that I've been to the National Zoo. And I got to tell you, it was delightful. Just an absolutely delightful day. It was gorgeous weather, a little bit on the hot side. So so going into it, I, I just I, I knew, you know, you're going to get hot and sweaty. That's what she said. Hey, inappropriate. Trying to do a show here. In any case, I'm at the zoo, but there's a lot of hills, a lot of terrain to cover, so you definitely need to pace yourself. That's what she said. Again, inappropriate, it needs to stop. And on top of all that, they were redoing some of the road work, some of the sidewalks, putting cobblestone in and things like that, so I knew I was going to be in for a bumpy ride. That's what she said. Hey guy, it's a family show. Can you cool it? Now the first stop in my zoo adventure was the panda exhibit. And I gotta tell you, I was fascinated by the pandas because there was one, there was three pandas total, and there was one just sitting in the center in all his glory, taking a giant piece of bamboo and just chewing on it. And and I've seen bamboo before. It's it's really hard. That's what she said. Seriously? Seriously. Stop it. But bamboo is very difficult to eat. I don't know how pandas do it. After we saw the pandas, which were absolutely incredible, we went on to the elephants, and I don't think I've ever seen an elephant in real life before. I was uh, I was I was actually fascinated by how leathery and almost almost fake its skin seemed. It was really kind of cool. But what fascinated me the most was was probably its trunk. It was just a lot longer than I expected. That's what she said. That is not what she said. That is not what she said. So after the elephants, we looked at some of the smaller exhibits, um, so, some birds and some sea lions and things like that. But as I said, it was really hot out. So of course I couldn't go all day. That's what she said. Ugh. So I went over to the concession stand. Uh, we went over to get some drinks and a couple slices of pizza. And, and I swear we just ordered two slices of pizza, but the woman brought out an entire pie for us. And I was like, whoa, ma'am, that's just way too big for me. I can't put that all in my mouth. That's what she said. Damn it, I'm gonna wash your mouth out. In any case, uh, we finished our pizza, uh, got our drinks, got our water. We were set to go to continue on our adventure. So after that, we saw lions and tigers and all the big cats, and that was fantastic. And then moved on to finish out the day with the, the monkeys and the orangutans, which were, which were just really cool to see. And for whatever reason, the person next to me decided to divulge their dietary habits. And they were like, you know, I can't eat bananas, but I really wish I could. All right, that's it. I swear to God, one more that's what she said joke, and you're out of here. Ranking time. So where does the DeVeo twist stack up on our list? And I gotta tell you, Ty Nation, I'm a little bit torn with this knot. Because, uh, as you can see here, I really enjoy the appearance of this knot. Um, however, there's a couple things that are going are gonna to dock at points. Um, it was very difficult to construct. Um, the knot probably works better with a monochromatic tie, but because of the amount of material used in creating the knot, I had to use one of my longer ties, and I only have very few longer ties, and they're all kind of this pattern. So it's very difficult to kind of see what exactly is going on with the DeVeo. Basically, it's three loops on the on the left or the right side here, and, and they go up into this large uh, pathway in, in the side. So it's really... Uh, it's really cool not to construct. I like the way that it looks, so that's going to give it points. But because it's so hard to construct and the amount of material needed to, to make the knot look good, and, and even though like it looks good right now, it's really very short. Like It doesn't come all the way down to my waistline, so um, it's not going to look good if I stand up and I'm actually like using it in real life. Unfortunately, it's not going to rank very high today. We're going to drop it down to number 7 on our list. And that also means that the Linwood Taurus is coming off the list completely. So right now, the Linwood Taurus is our biggest loser at number 11. Well, that's all the time we have today on Tide Time. Thanks for stopping in. You stay classy. So if you like what I'm doing here on Tide Time, go ahead and give that like button a little tap -a And if you want to get crazy, hit subscribe. Come on, it's free. I'm always interested to hear your thoughts and comments on the episode. If you liked it, if you didn't, leave all that stuff in the comment section below. Thanks for stopping in. You stay classy. Their dieting habits, and they leaned over and said, you know what, I'm a really big fan of it. I can't say words today. Words.